Hello and welcome to another edition of Frampod. Today I'm really honoured to be joined by Jesse. Jesse, say hello, man. Hello, my name's Jesse. And tell us a bit about yourself, man. What have you been up to today? Um, I've been to school and then I got sushi from the co-op. Yeah, this is the second week in a row you brought sushi along. It's Tell us about of, it. It's kind of a routine now. It's just you get the meal deal from the co-op and it's like, it's pretty cheap. It's like £3.50, uh-huh. but it's worth it because sushi on its own is like £3. But if you get a drink and a snack as well, so it's worth it. I like that, man. And also, it's quite refreshing because uh, it's actually quite healthy, isn't it, as well? Yeah, it's very healthy. Some of it is very healthy. Well, what's not healthy? Because you know, people can't see this, but you, you had a little smile there. What's, what's not healthy? Um, you get these, like, fridge drinks, but they're, like, they're really good, but they're not very good for you. They're, yeah, they're why, why, like, why, why, go on. They're, they're like, chocolatey milkshakes, so, like, sugar and the weird stuff and that. But they taste really good, so that's why I give them. And then, yeah, that's about it. It's just the drinks. But they're really good. Well, that's really cool, man. But I think that's balanced, man. You're young, so I think a milkshake here and there is totally cool. But you're, you're, as we talk about the Fram Pods, dude, this is about people sort of understand. Hey, it's come out already. Let's see that. Here's the milkshake. It's fudge brownie flavour. And how does this fare? Is this like, is this in the top three of, of fridge milkshakes? Oh, fridge milkshakes. This is definitely the best one. It's the best. They are fridge. Uh, good shout out for them. Um, dude, we're talking about Fram and, uh, and, and the area you're, you're from, but you're, you're from a little village just outside Fram, right? Yeah. And what's it called? Bruges Yard. Bruges Yard. And, um, and what, what's, what's in Bruges Yard? Because you showed me some, some people. I've never heard of it, actually, to be honest, but what, what, what's it like living there? Um, well, it's just like a little village out like, in the country. So there's like 10 houses and then um, we've also got like a massive hall bit there and it's really big, but mm-hmm. it's nice and peaceful there because like no one's really like talking in that there. It's just like silent because there's barely any houses. So is that, is that like, that's one of the, that's one of the plus sides, I guess, right? Yeah, it's, it's really good. And like, usually you'll see like animals run across the fields because we live next to a field. Okay. And, and is that something like you like? like- Spotting nature and stuff? Or? Yeah, it's pretty cool, but I don't know, do it for a hobby. No, no, no. Because for hobbies, I know you've got a trampoline, right? Yeah. And how, how, how do you get on, on your trampoline? Um, you said I, backflips and stuff earlier. Well, yeah, I can, I can do backflips and front flips and stuff like that. But I can't do double front flip yet. That's pretty tricky. Yeah, but I'm getting there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, can, I can just about do a seat drop. Is it called a seat drop? Yeah. Yeah. I do that when I put the trampoline next to my shed roof. Really? I jump off my shed. Oh, right. <laughs> now, if anyone listening, Jesse is always a, a, um, a character, and uh, that doesn't surprise me that you, you, you do that, man. Good on you. Good on you. Uh, but out in Bruges Yard, man, how how'd you get to Fram? Um, I have a bike, but... Um, well, it's got a puncher at the minute, so I haven't been biking. My mum's been taking me to Fram. But usually, if I want to go to Fram, I just, if I woke up early, I'd bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's a lot easier. Yeah, of course. And, and, and in Fram, what do you do? What do you do in Fram when you, you come here? So, as I say, I get sushi and, and like meal deal. Uh-huh. Or I will go to Pizza and Grill or Zorba's and get some chips and a burger or a chicken wrap meal. Mm-hmm. And that's really, like, really good. So... I do suggest that. Yeah, yeah, okay, big shout out to those guys. But also, you know, you, you, you come not just for food, but you also go to the, um, is it the pageant club? Uh, yeah, at the pageant park, um, it's like, there's like a youth club there. And you can, uh, yeah, you can go to that one and you can just chill out. Obviously now it's like lockdown, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So like, you have to like sit outside, but you still get to use the bean bags. And, um, yeah, that's really cool because they give you free snacks. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. And you chill out there, you, you chat with friends. Yeah, we just chill, just talk. And that's, and that's about it. But that's good, isn't it? And are they, all, are they all people your age, are they? Um, 
Well, some, m most of them are older, but it doesn't really matter. That's okay. That's cool. As long as you, you get on okay and stuff. And when did you, how long have you been going there, do you think? Um, well, it was built like half a year ago, that one up oh, really? there. Yeah. So we started going like as soon as it opened. And then there's one at the school. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people go to that. And that was like, that's been open for... That's been open for very long. <laughs> we'll have to ask Spadge about that, mate. I think it's I think it's about twenty odd years, I think. Yeah. Which is amazing. It's an amazing achievement that club's been going that long and that's that's really cool. I can see that you enjoy it, man, that's really cool. But not only do you come for the meal deal to Framlingham or, or you know, the chips and the burger or occasionally, or of course pageant club or the other youth club as well, but skating, it's a bit of a seasonal thing, it's a bit wet at the moment, but along with your friend Ben, tell us about the skate park, man. Um well like Well, we go skating, like, a lot when it's, like, summer. And then we learn a couple of new things. But we're not the best, but we're all right. And, um, yeah, that's about it for skating, because... Well, I've seen video of you skating. And you, 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 I think you're being modest here, I think, because it's, it's real tricky. You yeah, make it look very easy. very tricky. Very, yeah. very tricky. But when, once you get used to it, then it's all right, I guess. But we have a five foot ramp and people drop into that right that's just too scary like, <laughs> right that's not not fun just too much right yeah i'm i'm probably never gonna do that one well, I, I might uh, do it in the future actually you can make it a target something you could you know oh, i'm gonna do that next year or something yeah there's time there's time but you're um not only are you into skating but uh you're you're, you're really musical as well because since I've been coming along here you've used um, stuff by um, Rolly um, and uh, um, apps made by Apple as well and Novation Launchpad which is really cool and you showed really great musicianship immediately so um, to me it's obvious that you you've perhaps done uh, music making before am I right? Well last year I got a keyboard like dubstep pad and I used that but I didn't really have the apps and I didn't really know how to use it yeah. so I kind of like put that away for a bit and then it's only recently I've started using it again because I've been coming to this podcast and um, yeah it's really fun. Excellent man and we, 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 the music that you heard at the beginning and the music that will play us out is actually yours isn't it? It's something we've been putting together here and I'm looking at the computer at the moment and I can see you're itching to sort of get on to, to, to finishing it. How do you find making music, man? What, does, what um, does it, how does it feel for you? It feels pretty good. You just kind of go by the beat and then you just like think and you're adding some stuff you think would work and if it doesn't work, you take it out. But if it does work, then you keep it in and you just, yeah, you just listen to the beat. So you know what goes in, you know, you just think instantly. Yeah, no, yeah. that's so cool, man. And you've got computers at school? Yeah, when, when I was in like year seven, eight, yeah. we used to use them computers and we used to make like, like tunes like that. Okay. And it was pretty, it was pretty cool, but then for some reason we stopped in like year nine and that. Well, that's the thing, man, like music at school is, is um, you know, I used to have, I think I used to have music three times a week when I was at school. How often do you have music lessons at school? Um, well, because now I'm doing my GCSEs or whatever, I'm starting my GCSEs, uh -huh. I didn't pick music, so I don't have music. That's crazy, right? So, yeah. like, even now you just don't have it? Yeah, because, like, I, w I was going to pick it, but there was just, like, I didn't know really what to pick, so I just kind of went for other things. What did you pick instead then? Um, I picked GCSE PE, GCSE Art, History, and there was one other thing, but I forgot it now. Okay, but favorite things at school? What's your favorite, give me, give me one thing you like about school. Could be a subject, could be seeing your friend Ben, could be anything, what, what is it? 
I don't really like lessons, so I like breaking lunch. You were saying this, right? Because you're a real, you, you like to socialise, don't you? Yeah. You know, um, which is a great thing. It's a great thing. And you hang out with Ben. Uh, yeah. how, how long have you known Ben? Um, about three, three years. Three years. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. You get on really well together. And uh, what's he doing? He's next door, isn't he, at the moment? Yeah, he's with Spudge, mate, doing some artwork. Yeah, because we've already had an all about Ben. So this has been, uh, well, I guess it's all about Jesse, but could you think of a title for it now? Yeah. I'm thinking just Jesse, but I don't know if that's, if that's any good. I reckon we should just think about it. All right, I like that idea. So on that note, hit the music. We're out of here.